Hello everybody, um, I just want to come through and talk about a very interesting topic. It's kind of something that I've been wanting to talk, talk about for a while, but it came back up and re-sparked my interest. And it was, me and my sister, we were talking about weight loss, and she was like, um, she said, she was just like, I'm tired of being fat. And I was like, and then we were talking about weight loss because we're both on this diet, the six week body makeover. Me personally, I love me. Like, I seriously love me. I think I'm, I don't want this to sound conceited, but I think I'm cute. Like, I don't think I'm fine. I mean, to me, I think I'm just bad but <laughs> um that's we're gonna go talk about that um but i love me <laughs> i don't think i i mean i have some imperfections that i want to fix but as far as being a thin girl i would never dream of being a size two six eight ten probably even a twelve <clears throat> Probably the smallest I'll ever consider being is a size 16. But my goal is, you know, to lose maybe 60 pounds. And not even 60. I just want, I want to weigh, my goal weight is to weigh 200 pounds. And to me, I think that's comfortable for me, you know. So, um... Yeah, 200 pounds. And my sister, <clears throat> I was talking to my sister, and she was just like, Why do you want to be fat? Why do you like being fat? Those are exact words. Why do you like being fat? And I don't really just kind of like the term fat, so I'm going to use big girl. Um, excuse me, hold on. Okay. I like being a big girl. I've never ever wanted to be thin, thin. Like, I like being a big girl. Like, I love... Hello, everybody. Um, I just want to come through and talk about a very interesting topic. It's kind of something I've been wanting to talk, talk about for a while. But it came back up and re-sparked my interest. And it was... Me and my sister, we were talking about weight loss, and she was like, um, she said, she was just like, I'm tired of being fat. And I was like, and then we were talking about weight loss, because we're both on this diet, the six-week body makeover. Me personally, I love me, like, I seriously love me, I think I'm, I don't want this to sound conceited, but... I think I'm cute, like, I don't think I'm fine, I mean, to me, I think I'm just bad, but, <laughs> um, that's, we're gonna go talk about that, um, but I love me, <laughs> I don't think I, I mean, I have some imperfections that I want to fix, but as far as being a thin girl, I would never dream of being a size 2, 6, 8, 10, probably even a 12, <clears throat> probably the smallest I'll ever consider being is a size 16, but my goal is, you know, to lose maybe 60 pounds, and not even 60, I just want, I want to weigh, my goal weight is to weigh 200 pounds, and to me, I think that's comfortable for me, you know, so, um, yeah, 200 pounds, and my sister, <clears throat> I was talking to my sister, and she was just like, why do you want to be fat, why do you like being fat, those are exact words, why do you like being fat, and I don't really just kind of like the term fat, so I'm going to use big girl, um, excuse me, hold on, okay, I like being a big girl. I've never ever wanted to be 
thin, thin. Like, I like being a big girl. Like, I love my chubbiness. I love it. I, I just, I don't, I want to be able to fill out my clothes. When I wear dresses and tops, I want to be able to fill them out right and look good. And just all my fitness be on point. And I feel like if I lose weight, I'm not going to be able to fill my clothes out like I like. Now, my sister, she wants to be thin, like a, what she calls normal. But what's normal? Is being a size 6 or a size 8 or a size 2 normal? No, I don't think so. That's not what's normal. I mean, when you think about it, what is normal? Everybody's different. I mean, that's the beauty of the world. No one is alike. And I've been a chubby girl. I've had a, I'll say an issue, no, a, well, what the world would call a weight problem all of my life. I mean, if it's, if I've been an overweight person all my life, then in my opinion, that's the way God made me. So why should I feel like there's a problem with me the way God made me like relaxers like I have natural hair now I, and to me I was like why do I keep putting these relaxers in my hair when I have this beautiful hair that God gave me why alter that why change that true you should lose weight for health reasons but if you're a healthy person why lose weight why change who you are I don't understand it. Now, if you're not comfortable with yourself being overweight, then change that. That's you. Be where you're comfortable. Like, a couple of pounds ago. Like, I've lost 15 pounds. And I'm so happy about that. This summer, I'm on this weight, weight loss thing. So, I want to lose at least 20 to 25, 30 pounds. And I'm going to still be a big girl. You know, the only way I'll, if I lose a hundred, when I lose a hundred pounds, that's when I will be considered a, a smaller size girl. And, like, I am getting off track. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Let me say this. Um, I've never found thinness attractive. I mean, yes, it's attractive on some. But me, I would not want to see be, see myself as a thin girl. I mean, I just don't want to be thin. Like I find, I find the curvier people, BBWs, whatever you want to call them, chubby girls, whatever big girls. I I think that they are so beautiful. Their bodies are so beautiful to me. And as well as thin girls, but everybody's a thin girl. And then another thing with me is I like to be different. I don't want to conform to what other people do. That's just me. Why should I lose weight just because society says I should? Just because the world sees a thin woman as, as ideal beauty and being thin is what makes you attractive and wanted by men and acceptable in today's society. Just because the world says that doesn't mean I have to be that. Because the world is not is not correct. And I mean, it's just in let's say way back when it wasn't appealing to be thin and slender like we are now. It was appealing to be curvier and voluptuous, but now it's changed. So that right there tells you that it's a society. So why should I do what society tells me I should do? No. But um, I'm going to cut this video off right here because I think I might be going over time. So I'm going to come back with part two of why I like to be a big girl. Bye. This is...